what I would recommend is, uh, have you ever seen um, Epos Vox's channel? Yes. He has a couple of videos on Linux capture cards. I know you've added like links to other random videos. That might be a really yeah. good thing to add in there, just because it's oh, like yeah. it's difficult to work out what actually is UVC compliant. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, I mean, that does that is a good thing to to mention because. Uh, the only way that I was able to find out certain things from the UVC compliance is if I went to Amazon <laughs> to look it up, because they would just tell you. Some, like, the EBGA XR1 yep, is UVC yep, compliant. Yep. I, um, I've got one right now. Want... Oh, yeah, I have one as well. Um, the other one that a lot of people probably don't know about, which is the Easy Cap. That's a really old brand name that people know about. <laughs> well, they make PCI Express cards. They make two different brands, by the way, which is basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. They make their EasyCat brand, which mm -hmm. are PCI Express. Those are all UVC compliant plug and play cards. They work. You don't have to buy those expensive cards people advertise. Mm -hmm. You can also get the Pile Link 4 or Pile Link 5. Those are also UVC compliant. They plug and play and they work. Um, the only caveat is you have to go through QPW Graph and link the audio to your Starship you know, audio. Mm -hmm. which is the only thing other than that it'll just work yeah. um i do notice the thing with like my EVGA x one where i feel like if i want to use it via audio i have to unplug it plug it up again to refresh it mm -hmm. but other than that it's like it's not really an issue and with like the pci express card it just works wait that does wait what that does 10 huh? 120 recording what they're good they're good cards let me let me send you a link yeah these. no i'm looking at the website right now what the hell Okay. It's really they're they're cheaper than trying to um get those uh it's like a magic cards. They're yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I know the one you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's way cheaper than that because like instead of spending like a hundred something dollars, you're spending like seventy. Huh. And it, and it works. It's it's basically what I use for my stream. Like my gaming PC is being streamed from my my streaming computer through that capture card. And then my consoles are kind of using the EVGA other one, you know. Mm. But let's see here. Pile Link 4 is a good capture card for this kind of stuff. Um, I don't know if we're recording yet, but uh, we've mentioned at some point the PS5 Pro. that There's one oh, yeah. good thing that's going to come out of that. And that oh. is more capture cards that support 1080p 120. Because that's that's oh, sort of yeah. like the, the baseline for what like capture cards generally work with, like whatever consoles do. So by having a console that does that, there's going to be more companies that make capture cards for that range, which is going to bring down the price on the external ones as well and actually make them oh, yeah. easier to find. So you make it more sustainable. I just think a lot of people who were kind of put off by the PS5's price were like, ah, you should probably go buy a Steam Deck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's, it's a stupid device. Deck. But for the people that do buy it, it's going to make capturing it easier. Yeah. Oh, the so the Pyro Link's kind of like the Elgato Stream Link then. Um, Elgato Cam Link, sorry. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's sort of like the Elgato Cam Link. It's, it's more like the... It's just it's just straight up a capture card. It's just what it is. It's not like the uh like it's not like the cam link. I need to find you the specific. Well, one unless that I'm there's a different. At. The one that I'm seeing is like one input. Unless there's another one that you were actually directing people to. Oh, I will be doing that. Because they uh, yeah to find it. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay, so they also you know they they resell these cards too as easy cap capture <laughs> cards. It's the oh, same thing. Okay, okay, okay. So let me send you this. It's the Live Gamer Raw. <laughs> live Gamer Raw. Yeah, I mean, you have that. And then I think there's another one that's better than that. That sounds like an Ava Media card. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Live Gamer Raw. It's You can run it, I think, at like 1080p 60fps as well. And then 4k 30fps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah, wait, like, that's the one I, I found it, before. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, that's a, like, that's a good one. Um... Let me see here. Like it's cheaper that way. Let me see if I can go through my purchase history and if I can find another one. Because sometimes, sometimes they like to uh, hide their capture cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's Why am I not signed in? <laughs> Why? Just to make it easy to find them. God, I, yeah, I, I, I mean, haven't heard the name be. Easy Cap in a long time. Like that's a name you would have heard in the the real early days of console capture. Oh, I found it. Um, if you could find these available, 
um they do work there's actually a whole list of them but mm -hmm. um the easy caps right now are the probably the easiest ones to get but it's the mm -hmm. same thing so it's the same company right so right, that right. piling is like the subsidiary of easy cap okay okay so i'll send you this link as well because these are good capture cards because they're ubc compliant mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and if you if it's ubc compliant it's guaranteed it's, it's more than likely guaranteed to work yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if it's not, you're going to run into an issue that I had with my old uh, Avermedia capture card <laughs> that the video came in, but the audio was not existent. And, Which uh, Avermedia one was it? Because they're very hit and miss. Because I used it, to have it a. Working. It was the Live Gamer HD. It was the one with the shorter PCIe Expressor connections. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I had a Live Gamer Portable, and that works. Oh, the, the, oh the, yeah, that's the Toblerone one. one. Yeah, like the smaller one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. This one Vinny was using for her streams. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me see if I can go ahead and send you this link here. It's the Live Gamer 5. I mean, you can probably get PyLink 4s as well for oh. cheap. Oh, it literally is the same device. <laughs> <Wait>. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Am I... Is there anything that I can dox myself here by showing it? No, I think we're good. Uh, there's also a, a site on Pile USA where they are sold a little bit... Um, I mean, they're sold out right now for mm -hmm. Gen 2. But, like, they do sell these. Um, Pile USA does have these cards available mm -hmm. whenever they do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, honestly, I wouldn't bank on it because they're probably going to just use the easy caps on Amazon, but... Mm -hmm. They do work, and I do have one, and it does work how it's intended to. <laughs> the hell is this website? Why is this some random kid with a megaphone? I don't know. Professional megaphones? Wait, how much is a megaphone? This is a random tangent. Wait, how do I even find... Let me buy a megaphone, damn it! <laughs> $75.99. Oh, here's a good one. Okay. Easy Cap Live Gamer Raw, but it doesn't have all the colors to it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have, like, the RGB... Uh, mm -hmm stuff going it's like 119 which is still cheaper than a lot of other capture cards mm -hmm. and uh yeah it's and it's got that 4k video resolution you could probably knock it down to 1080p and get 60 out of it mm -hmm. so like i mean this these are like better options in comparison to whatever these black magic cards are um because those yeah. are expensive and i don't want to spend money on that uh just use easy cap if you're on linux uh i don't know if elgato works but it might depends yes okay so elgato is like ava media where it is very oh, no. very hit and miss my camera that you're seeing is attached to a cam link so if what if ah. you want to do the camera that's fine um oh yeah the oh, i need i need to see it i think it it's what there's a couple of very specific devices they have that are uvc um yeah Elgato, help me choose. Gets no. Let me just see your. Let me just see your list. Jesus Christ, Elgato. Let me, why is your website? Most suck? webcams happen to be UBC compliant as well. Which most. Is a very good coincidence. Most, not all though. Be Dude, careful with the new laptops, be. especially. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. This, there's... You know the. You know the... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, like that. Like more than likely, some of the cheaper, uh, higher. Okay, they're gonna be like they're still gonna be ten eighty p, but they're gonna be cheaper than name brand stuff. Mm -hmm. Um like Logitech will work. Logitech's UVC compliant. Get a C920, it works. There's no issue with or, it. Or a 720, or those work too. Yeah. Uh or a C7, I think it's like a C710 or whatever. And then you also have like some of these who are like these off-brand ones, which will also still work too, that are like 1080p. Um mm -hmm. and they will just work with the computer because they're plug and play. Like any usually most of the time. Unless it's Avery Media and sometimes Elgato or, or depending on how that works out. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, if you get like a plug and play capture card device, it should very well work. But you should verify if it's UVC compliant because that is what works the best on Linux. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's 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 very it's it'll, your life will be much easier that way. 